In this clip we'll take a look at the abutment tool here in Leap Bridge Steel Connect. When you add uh, your members, uh, your, your beams to the model, it'll automatically place a default abutment and pier in the uh, model as needed. And at any time you can come down here to substructure, select the abutment tool or the pier tool and make changes uh, to those elements. You'll notice it's all uh, parametrically done. Uh, it's simply a matter of selecting options or filling in the blanks and making whatever changes you need to make uh, to that model. So for example here I could change this from a pile cap to a stem wall abutment or I could make changes in geometry to either the cap itself or to the pile. So I can come in and select a, a pile shape, give it a diameter, tell it the length of the pile, uh, how far it's embedded into the cap, and then even set the pile locations. So I'm going to go ahead and add some pile locations out here and I'll just add a few real quick so you can see how this is done. And essentially these are you know, along an, uh, an X and a Y axis where zero, 0 is in the center of the cap. So I'm just going to add in let's say 5 pile here just to give you the idea of how this works and you can also batter these in the X or Y direction as well. Once you've added them go ahead and select OK. Now in my case I want uh, the abutments, both abutments to be the same so I'm going to ask it to go ahead and copy this over to support 3 and then when I pick the support 3 toggle I can see that it now has the same pile configuration so I'm going to go ahead and select OK and ask it to update the model. Again you have similar tools with peers as well. Uh, here in the peer tool uh, you can do multi-column or hammerhead uh, peers with a variety of different cap and column shapes here. And it's just simply a matter again of working through uh, the various tabs to get the peer uh, to look the way you like. Thank you for watching this short clip on piers and abutments in Leap Bridge Steel Connect.